Hello everyone. I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of waste management. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss health and environmental impact of mismanagement of waste. So the main importance is uh, the waste management is mainly dealing with the uh, avoid the public health disaster, spreading of pathogens, spreading of diseases by insect, etc. If you are not doing the waste management properly, obviously the health condition and as well as the condition of environment that become degraded. Okay, so we need to uh, make the waste management such a way that uh, it should prevent the growth of pathogens and it uh, avoids the in accidents, infections, etc. So we should uh, have a uh, systematic solid waste management to get rid of uh, those uh, impacts. So by the way, we have to impact, we have to consider two major impacts. First one is called the health, health effect as well as environmental effect. How the poor uh, waste management leads health. How about the like uh, mismanagement of the waste that leads impact on the environment that we are going to discuss individually. Let me continue the session. First of all, I'll be discussing about impact of the public health. We'll be discussing impact of public uh, health. Okay, how it is going to impact uh, the public impact. For example, disease vectors and pathways, uh, then uh, for, uh, for flies, uh, mosquitoes, roaches, rodents, uh, then uh, what we can say, occupational hazardous animals, etc. That is going to be uh, lead the pub public uh, health. How it is going to be impacted, we are going to discuss individually. So moving on to the discussion, I would like to discuss individually how the disease vectors are spreading. Uh, like because of poor waste management. You can see the growth of animals, insects, etc. Uh, similarly, if I talk about the environment, we have to consider air pollution, water pollution, land pollution, visual pollution, noise pollution, odor pollution, as well as explosion hazardous because of poor waste management. Okay. So, so some case, some some normal case also that will happen. If the waste ma if you are doing the waste management effectively, also some impact we have to consider that we are going to discuss. First of all, we are going to discuss about uh, the public health impact. First of all, disease vector and pathways. For example, as you can see, the pathogens that transmit from waste to human being. That, for example, examples of pathogens are flies, mosquitoes, roaches, and animals, rodents, and pigs. So these are the various examples of disease vectors and pathways. Second one is called as flies. You know, house fly, which uh, transmit, which will be reason for ty typhoid, salmonella, gastroenteritis, and uh, dysenteries. It, the main uh, method to overcome or this particular impact is to cover the solid waste with a proper layer. Whenever you are doing the landfill, you need to perform the proper layer. That is very important. So that you are supposed to make it out. Okay, I think it's clear to everybody. So now I'll be moving on to the further discussion. So we are going to discuss all the health impact. Okay. So now we'll be, we'll be talking about uh, mosquitoes. How about the mosquitoes? So if I talk about the mosquitoes, because of mosquitoes, it may create or it may it may be reason for malaria, uh, filaria, dengue fever, etc. Uh, breed in stagnant water, you know, uh, if the stagnant water is actually available in the premises of our house or nearby the building, obviously that will lead spreading of mosquitoes that may create the various diseases like malaria, filaria, dengue, etc. The main remedy is actually proper sanitary practices and the general cleanliness. Surrounding should be clean and proper. You have to do the proper sanitary, use the bleaching powder. So these are the basic things which you can remember. Okay. So uh, these are the impact of public health uh, uh, from mosquitoes. Okay. Breeding of mosquitoes. If I talk about the roaches, roaches also having more impact on the public health. So these are causing infected by the physical contact and the transmit typhoid, cholera, amoebiosis, etc. These are most dangerous. Uh, the problem of roaches are associated with the poor storage of solid waste. If the solid wastes are not stored properly with a closed container, the spreading of roaches that is going to be taken place. That is another uh, impact that you have to get rid of that. Okay. So we have to prevent the growth of roaches. Then regarding the rodents. Okay. Rodents. What is rodents? Okay. All rodents are comes under the category of right. Uh, the main thing is the, in, the spreading of rodent is because of uncontrolled deposit of solid waste. That is a major impact of spreading of rodent. Then spreading of diseases such as plague, then uh, murine typhus, uh, lepterosis, uh, then uh, histoplasmosis, rat bite fever, then uh, tri trichinosis, etc. The main reason for the spreading of rodents are open dumping and a poor sanitation. For example, you can see the, some food particles they kept on the table 
uh, at night or any other time the spreading of this kind of right it will attract the right and uh, there's a cup of the spreading of more community of the right that is happening because of uh, like the poor uh, mis poor management of uh, waste that is actually the reason for the spreading of right okay those category now i'll be moving on to the like occupational hazards if i talk about occupational hazards the worker those who are belong to that crew of that particular waste management team uh, definitely they are getting so many uh, health impact workers handling the waste are risk of accidents related to nature of material lack of safety precautions that will happen a fell down of uh, like uh, heavy objects okay similarly sharp edges of the glass and metal that poorly constructed the storage container may infect the injuries okay it may create the uh, infection okay the waste uh, handlers to wear the gloves mask and uh, they should be getting proper vaccination also the skin and blood infections are there are chances of getting skin and blood infection eye as well as respiratory infections then uh, bites of animals feeding on the waste then uh, chronic respiratory disorder including cancers then bone then uh, issue with the muscle disorders then reduced the visibility so these are all the things you can see some picture people are actually uh, putting up a heavy amount of weight from like a uh, floor area to like a tra uh, tra uh, transport facility from the ground to the transport vehicle they are carrying heavy amount of weight at that time anything may happen okay these are the public health impacts like uh, oh, there are chances of occupational diseases okay so i think it's clear to everybody moving on to the further in, uh, impact like uh, animals so what about the animals spreading of rodents some animals like uh, dogs cats pigs etc that carries of diseases ticks are involved in the spreading of diseases like uh, trichinosis uh, 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 cystirosis then toxoplasmosis these are the major uh, diseases spreading by uh, the pigs spreading through the pigs okay that also you can remember so i would like to proceed further now we have so far we have discussed about the public health impact because of animals occupational hazards rodents uh, roaches mosquitoes disease vectors flies etc now we are talking about the environmental impact how about the environmental impact so we are going more focusing on the environmental impact first in the foremost air pollution like a combustion burning like a burning of material in the open air uh, that is going to create like a air pollution uh, then emission of un, uh, like emission from the uncontrolled incineration system if the incineration system is actually not in a proper control condition it may create like uh, air pollution particulate matter formation of particulate matter so2 sulfur dioxide it may create acid rains nitrogen oxide hydrogen hy hydrogen chloride it may create like acid rain hydrochloric acid then carbon monoxide lead and mercury these are the poisonous material so that will create the greenhouse effect greenhouse effect and it may leads global warming as well okay so while burning or while doing the combustion you should be very much careful it may either it may be like a combustion or incineration we should be very much careful other one is actually called water and land pollution how about the water and land pollution like uh, dumping of uh, like uh, dumping of sea dumping of uh, waste material on the water bodies then uh, flow of ground water through the solid waste then uh, it increase the bio biochemical oxygen demand because of that uh, the aquatic organism the amount of oxygen which is available in the water body that is coming down similarly carbon dioxide produced keeps the ph very low that is another impact every like uh, in the neutral water ph should be 7 but it is going to become more acidic because of this okay so these are the major impact so that we have to consider so now i'll be proceeding further so we have discussed about the impact environmental impact first one is water and land pollution uh, second one we can see like uh, visual pollution so uh, definitely you can see these kind of sites so look at this nearby the road side definitely will uh, lose the visibility the land is going to lose the visibility visibility of the land is lost because of this uh, throwing of the waste that means we lose aesthetic sensibility uh, similarly uh, waste carelessly and irresponsibly declared in public uh, through fires animals scavenging the food that is also not good nearby the roadside like uh, animals are hunting for the food that doesn't look good that will uh, 100% pull back the tourist tourist okay those who are uh, coming from uh, other countries definitely uh, they will uh, they will get a negative impression on that particular country so public awareness is required to rectify this problem is essential very essential otherwise uh, we will go in a dangerous condition okay this is regarding the visual pollution so we lose the uh, like uh, visibility okay poor visibility now i would like to discuss about the uh, noise pollution what about the noise pollution 
so so for example during the land filling uh, then uh, during the insemination process during the at the time of segregation in the transfer station uh, so some recycling process there will be heavy amount of noise it will be more than certain decibel units so definitely that will irritate also we, we people cannot survive nearby that area similarly movement of the vehicle then operation of the large machines and these things and all create the noise pollution that is another environmental impact that you have to be very much careful okay noise pollution okay so that point you have to consider similarly order pollution how about the order pollution so uh, similarly it's like a anaerobic respiration sometimes there will be decomposition that will be happening in the absence of oxygen that is called as anaerobic respiration at the time of anaerobic respiration uh, there may be production of methane apart from that uh, there will be odorous gas that is coming out methane gas that is uh, the uh, it creates more uh, bad odor so uh, the surrounding area those who are living they will get too difficulty okay so proper uh, similarly some uh, some uh, in the land filling at the time of land filling proper cover has to be arranged otherwise uh, it may create the negative uh, impacts okay so that is regarding the order pollution okay similarly explosion of hazardous material especially like the potash and nitrate uh, while burning uh, definitely uh, what I, what we can say uh, like uh, at the time of land filling uh, some there is explosion some kind of explosive gas it may like uh, explosive material that may create like a huge explosion that is too dangerous Here, even anaerobic decomposition also will lead explosion okay uh, so anaerobic digestion uh, the the amount of methane gas will be around 70, 70 uh, 35 to 73 percent that will create a huge explosion okay so methane emission of methane gas that is that will create a more explosion these are all the things we need to consider uh, as for the environmental impact so let us have a summary uh, in this video, we have discussed about uh, the, the need for waste management, effective need for waste management. If the waste management is not proper, definitely uh, we, we, we have to face both public health impact as well as environmental impact. We should have an optimal uh, waste management policy. So whenever we are talking about the public health impact, we have to consider the disease vectors, pathways, flies, mosquitoes, roaches, rodents, occupational hazards, etc. If I talk about the environmental impact, we need to consider the air pollution, water pollution, visual pollution, noise pollution, order pollution, and explosion hazards. So you know, this, this uh, topic is very important if you are talking about the waste management. So also for the exam point of view, I'm emphasis this type particular question for various university examination. Kindly refer and repeat uh, this particular topic again and again. Uh, I request everybody to note down the valuable points in your notebook so that uh, whenever necessary, you can recall. So if you have any queries regarding this, kindly let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. If you're watching uh, my video first time, I request, I request you to sh uh, watch, share and subscribe this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video again.